Hey up everybody, I'm on part 3 of my trailing pony truck, if you've not seen parts 1 and 2 I suggest you may have to catch up with them before you probably get into gist of everything that I'm doing here, but I've got all, I've got most of the components made and I'm now going to move on to doing the plate work, that's the radius plate and the top and bottom plates. I've also got to do the horn pillars and I've got to machine the treads up on the wheels I think that's pretty much it, oh there's one more item the pivot pin which is there so I found a bit of uh, 1 8 plate in my recycle box and I'm going to cut the plates out of that I've got a bit of scrap bar there to make the uh, pivot pin and then I've got some square bar which was 10 millimeter but I've milled it down on two sides to make it 3 eighths just wanted a few thou off and I'm going to cut my horn pillars from that So I'm going to carry on then and get this sawing done and I'll probably see you over on the lathe and get these wheels sorted out. Okay, that's my cardiovascular work finished for today. So I've now got to drill the holes in each plate. And on the on the bottom plate, I've got to mill a 30 second step on each end. And what that's for is to once the horn pillars are fastened with that one hole underneath it's to stop them being able to twist and then all the relevant holes in the top plate so I'm gonna either see you over on lathe to do my tread on my wheels or I'll see you over at Miller to do the step on the bottom plate
Right, I'm down to my um, diameter in, in the root, which is two and a half in my case. Uh, I've, I've done a one and a half degree taper. So I'm now going to swing my compound slide round to put the taper onto the flange part in that direction. It needs any anywhere between 12 and 20 degree taper on that, it's not critical, it's just for clearance. You could put 0 to 8 degrees taper on the back edge, on this back side, if you wanted to. But because they're just for trailing pony truck, I'm just going to leave it it's at 0 degrees. I'm just going to put a radius on top now and chamfer that front edge and then that one's done. And then I can move over to the other side. Okay then back on workbench now, I've just I've just finished these off on lathe. So that's the wheels completed now. And everything's completed, the radius plate, the top plate, the bottom plate, on pillars that fit on the bottom plate up to that st step which I milled in. the bearing block the control fork uh, the pivot pin spring housings with the springs in then you've got your control bar with the bosses on one silver soldered on the end, one's left loose. And then on the control bar fits the control followers, springs and uh, roll pins. And then I've got my uh, oil nipples for my end feed oil system on my axle. Uh, just before I go though, I will point one thing out. If you are making the meter made, when you're doing the radius plate, you've got to allow for the different wheel centres on the uh, meter made. So this has to be shortened to the relevant size. And there's no drawing for that. I've just took the measurement off the loco. So that's something to be aware of if you're making the meter made. So I'm going to call it a day for today anyway. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next video when I'm assembling all this together. So thanks for watching then. Bye for now.